There's only one way to start this video. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our 2018 Dodge Charger Pursuit vehicle. And as you've seen in the previous video, we pretty much completely stripped our parts car, and got all the parts that we need to put this car back together, mainly the interior. So that's exactly what we're gonna start with is removing that blown dash and try to replace it with our new dash along with the airbags that we got. So let's go ahead, grab all of our tools and get straight to work. Finally got that dash out, a few cuts and scrapes later. Nothing crazy though, you know, getting in them tight nooks and crannies and whatnot. But third time's a charm because we did do this three times, didn't we, on the Hellcat. Oh, yeah. Now on our parts charger and now on our charger right here. But it was the easiest dash that we ever got out because we knew exactly where everything was. But right now we got our brand new one right there. We're about to throw it in. But I think we do have to put this little soundproofing on there uh, that we managed to rip on that one. So we're going to swap that on there real quick. And then we're going to start throwing this sucker in. Or do we throw the airbag in first? I think you throw in the airbag because in first. Because this one was yeah. just laying there because there's no way you'll get this airbag out if you don't remove the dash. So we're going to go ahead and slap that airbag in there and then throw our brand new dash. All right, so the dash is finally in. It's starting to look good. Everything is coming together. We were gonna remove this airbag, but these clips are just melted in shut because of the airbag exploding, getting really hot. So we will probably be removing this steering wheel because we do have a good clock spring on the parts car. So while we're at it, we're probably gonna go ahead and remove the knee airbag as well. So let's go over there and see if we can get all that stuff off. You don't want to spin that right there because that clock spring will kind of keep you from turning more the other way than the other way you know what i mean you know what i'm saying not on the other way or the other way you know what i mean but you'll be able to like turn it two times to the left but four times to the right if you jack that up right there so well, if you put it on wrong you turn it too far i'll probably just jack it up like that yeah that's true too you'll break it i but, wonder what this little you see this little thing little guy that you can pull down i don't know what that is but it's something. One more thing that we need to grab is that airbag down there, and then we're probably just gonna go ahead and do a simple uh, re remove and replace, right? Yep, remove and replace, should be super simple, let's get it.
All right, so the dash is complete along with the driver airbag and the knee airbag and also this uh, passenger airbag too. Went ahead, plugged it all in. We made sure the power was off. So right now we're actually gonna put the battery back on and see if everything works. All right, fire in the hole. Okay. Oh, it's in my pocket. There you go. Vehicle's not in park. That's what it was. All right, everything's going off. Oh, there we go. Nice, dude. I wonder if the airbag can reset itself or are we going to have to send it off? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. A lot of people say that these reset themselves. And uh, if we do need to remove this, we're kind of probably going to have to remove a bunch of this stuff because it's really hard to get to. Let's I remember do actually doing it on the Hellcat. One of the bolts was just very difficult to get to. But yeah, but a lot of people say that they reset themselves. So we'll figure that out uh, as soon as we get these seat belts off, send them off and see if uh, they reset. You know, yeah. that's the only way we can find out whenever we throw all the airbags in the roof airbag, which is going to be here real soon. Yeah, we're still waiting on that. I actually ordered this from somebody in Canada so yeah so it's taking gonna, a little bit but it's gonna take a little bit so right now we're actually gonna go ahead what take these seat belts out and try to send them off yeah that'd be the best thing to do is actually remove the pillars remove the seats probably to just to get the seat belts out and have them on their way and we need to just go ahead and remove this headliner you know might as well remove this all because this headliner is kind of ripped a little bit we may use Ooh, the one yeah. off of that uh cop car over there because it it's perfect they didn't have no lights up here so they didn't have to cut none of this so let's go ahead and remove these seat belts So what you're telling me is we got to remove this whole entire headliner just to get to these seat belts. Just to get to these seat belts. That's right, because there's a bolt right behind the headliner right here. You can possibly bend it, but you're going to risk uh, putting a crease in your headliner. But our headliner's are already bad, and we're just going to go ahead and remove everything. So it is on one um, one plug, and you don't have to unplug no lights or anything. There's a wiring harness of its own, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, it's own wiring harness, so I better unscrew that one screw right there, and this thing should pop right down. Ooh wee Now that's it right there. I'm gonna take that screw out. Now we're just gonna have to figure out how we can get it out of the car. Dude, <laughs> headliners are always the toughest, you know what I mean? Like, somehow they have to go through a door, but which door? I don't know. Man. Probably a front door, that's what I was thinking. Oh, it'd probably be easier if we removed the, seat. the seats as well, and yeah. probably go out the passenger side so the steering wheel doesn't... Well, let's just put them all the way down, recline them all the way back, or and that. see if we can do it like that. Let's do it. came out a lot easier than we thought that's exactly how we're gonna have to put it back in too because it just came from the driver or passenger, passenger side. side we had to lower the seats all the way down but we managed to get it out pretty simple you know yeah, yeah. without bending it or creasing it too much you know that's one yeah, of the major things in. That, yeah. uh, check this out we got some lights back here do we Oh some yeah, the whole right entire here. wiring harness, and we got some police lights back here. I don't know if we're gonna use those. Yeah, probably we're not. We're, we don't need all that. I mean, we got roof lights, but this is just hey. gonna, might use that for something else, you know? That sucker right there will light up your world, so yeah, these that's are, plenty. These you wanna bright. do like the Rolls Royce Ghost style roof where they have the optics in the roof, the star lights? I wish, man. <laughs> Dude, it's not it's not that expensive. I know, but it, it's gonna take some time to do. You gotta probably like drill tiny holes or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I've always wanted to do that, but probably to like a nicer vehicle maybe. You yeah, know what I mean? we got one big star light right here that should be good enough. <laughs> hey, that's a moon right there. That's a moon light right that's there. That's a red don't, moon too. Don't need nothing more than that. But anyway, this is what we were talking about. They actually cut this roof liner. I, I'm guessing for these type of lights right here because yep. they're, they're cut right here too. Like why would you cut them? You know what I mean? Yeah, and then just bolt it on with one bolt. Yeah, one bolt. They're super loose. They actually move around when you drive. They're making noise. So I don't know what that was, but we should be good right there. Now, I guess, so what are we doing now? Taking out those seat belts. Let's do it.
Alrighty guys, so both seat belts are finally out. They are locked up, so we're actually gonna have to ship those out to get rebuilt. We are probably gonna do that in the morning, so we'll catch you guys then. All right, so it is the next day, and what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and package these seat belts up, take them to the post office, and ship them out to Safety Restore, and hopefully have them back in the next few days. All right, so we're here at the local post office. Let's go ahead and ship these bad boys out. All right, so we're back from the post office. We went ahead and shipped off our seat belts, but while our roof liner is off and we're still waiting on one airbag and we're not popping any of this stuff up front because we are getting a new windshield in here real soon. So we're gonna go ahead and start drilling our first hole in this roof and try to wire up this light bar and try to wire up this center console, put everything back together so we can get our lights working because we're gonna be using them on off-road use and at the drag strip on some private property. So let's go ahead, grab our drill bits and drill our first hole. So apparently all of our hole saws are for wood. So we gave it an attempt, it wouldn't cut it. We'd probably be here all day trying to get a hole out of it. So right now we're actually gonna run to a local hardware store and get a hole saw for metal. Alrighty guys, here we are. Is that for metal too? Yeah, metal and everything, look at that. Perfect, and then we're probably gonna need one of these attachments here. Definitely, but, definitely. I don't know what kind do we, what do we need? This is a small little hole, you know, maybe this one. Yeah, that looks perfect, perfect actually. actually. Yep. And then if you want like to install like something big. Like, uh, honestly thought snorkel. this would be easy to install like a snorkel on the roof of that. <laughs> or uh, something to cut out so you can poke your head through the window. <laughs> or through the roof. roof. Moon roof, we moon don't got one of those. Might cut, need it. cut one out for each side. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and grab some of this stuff and head back to the house. So we just ran the light bar wires all the way through the pillars, all the way underneath these plastics, and then it just cuts through this uh, uh, mat right here, and it's nicely tucked away, and it comes out perfectly right here, so we should have enough room to wire it all up. Now what we're gonna do is actually run this main power wire. This is basically what's gonna power all the lights and the PA system, so we're gonna have to find a way to pop this through the firewall and connect it to some power. So the wiring is complete. This is the last hot wire that I just plugged up. So hopefully it, our lights work and hopefully all the different types of flashes work as well because there was a ton of wiring I had to go through. Luckily I had pictures of everything. So let's go ahead, hop in there and see if they actually just light up themselves. You know what I mean? Let's do it, dude. This is gonna look sick dude, on this car right here. On this car. Do you think the front flashes will work? Because I'm not sure, dude. I'm not sure on that. Cars. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Go for it. Here's a wreck. Yes, dude. Dang, dude, that is sick. Let's check out the front headlights. Oh, this car was equipped with those flashers, wasn't oh, it? Oh, dude, don't flash. Maybe if I turn on the lights. Yeah, turn turn the lights on. Okay. Uh, I think all pursuit vehicles are equipped with that. So. Really? Yeah. Oh snap, nah, dude! Do they're they? they're blinking back and forth. 
Dang. Dude, that looks sick. Oh man, dude, that looks freaking good. Go that through the rest sick. of the stuff. I wonder yeah. if all that stuff is work, uh, working because it was a million wires, dude. dude a million, tons of wires. I'm just gonna go through them quick. Yep. Just let me know if they work. Here's the front. Yes, sir. Front. Rear. Rear working. Wig wag. Zigzag or wig wag. Zigzag ox. What's that one? That's just solid blue right there. All right, we got the left orange. Yep. Right orange. Yes, sir. Take down. I think that's the white lights, right? Yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna be using most of the time right there for like off roading or at night yeah, or stuff, then, stuff like then that. Then we got the side white lights too. That's sick. Yep. definitely gonna be using those more often when we go to like our property or something at night. But dude, that's about it. Our uh, PA system is not hooked up because. Um, we didn't even install it, right? Yeah, we haven't installed that because that bumper is going to be coming off for that bull bar, dude. That's oh, which is sick. coming here real soon. I think we already got it in. So, dude, that's going to change the whole entire look of this front of the car. But right now, we're actually going to go ahead and pick up all of our tools and actually detail some of this interior, especially this center console. It's kind of really dirty. I don't know how much people done sat in this car. So let's go ahead and give this thing a nice clean and clean up our tools. So we got this center console looking fresh. It looks brand new along with the dash and the steering wheel. Everything looks like a 20,000 mile 2018 Charger right here, dude. Looks freaking nice. But right now we're actually gonna move on to the top light right here. And if you can't notice the inside of it looks like there's actually mud splatters in there, you know, mm -hmm. like very dirty water, looks super disgusting inside. So what we're gonna do is actually unscrew these little uh, screws right here and see if we can pop these covers off and clean the inside of this light bar. Yeah, so that light bar looks absolutely amazing. Check it out with the lights on. It looks better. I think it shines brighter now. Dang, what do you think? it looks brand new, dude. That sucker looks brand new. But now it is time, the moment we have all been waiting for, get rid of these She Rip stickers. She Rip stickers. Now, we're thinking about doing the She Rips, but we might just do Goon Squad. We haven't came up with that yet. We are getting our own decals for this car, but let's go ahead and remove these and just make it look nice and clean with it all being white. Yeah, and we can hit the road without taping that stuff exactly. up. Exactly, that's one of the main things that we wanna do is cruise this cruiser around. Now these suckers are pretty tough. This has been by far one of the easiest ones to remove. The, the numbers and stuff are really hard, but looks like we're gonna be using a bunch of wax and grease remover to remove the rest of that glue, but. Is that all glue right there? This right here, not this. Oh, I was about to say This that's right here is glue. glue but these straps should be easy the numbers and the letters will be a little bit harder because they're like doubled up you see that yeah they're doubled up i think they're doubled up but it's like this reflective stuff like you know the police officers have to have where you can see them at night yeah definitely so. reflective and it's 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 probably harder than regular wrap right oh yeah oh yeah it's like it's like an actual sticker so let's go ahead both get on this and try to remove this as fast as possible Alrighty guys, so we finally got all these decals off. It did take a good bit of time because the glue that was left behind was really tough. So we had to use some lacquer thinner and just put some elbow grease into it. But it looks really nice and clean. What do you guys think of that? I think it's just nice and solid. Dude, what do you think? I love it, dude. I think it looks way better than the ugly blue and yellow, but we had to retire that because yes, this thing may get some new decals. Yeah, if anybody out there knows how to make some decals or would like to make some decals for us, like maybe Goon Squad on the side, and I think that'll be just perfect. So let us know, either email us or actually DM us on Instagram. But as of right now, we're actually gonna jump onto the opposite end and remove those decals as well. All 
Alrighty guys, so we finally got these decals off as well. It did take just as long as the other side, but it looks nice and clean now. But it's super late on us right now, so we're gonna actually catch you guys in the morning. Next day here, and that's gonna be pretty much a wrap for today's video, but before we go, I do wanna show you guys the packages that we just got today. We got our front bull bar slash push bar. This is like the main piece that connects to the frame, and this is the headlight wraps that's gonna look absolutely sick on our car. Then come over here, we also got a full cat back exhaust that's just gonna transform the sound. Not transform, but definitely change the tone of the car, which that V8 Hemi definitely needs. We also got a few other packages here that's gonna transform the look of the rear end, make it look super aggressive, but stay tuned for the next video where we install all this stuff so make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also guys be sure to follow us on instagram at goon squad where you can get inside scoop there before youtube and if you want to help support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy some merch with that being said thank you guys for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time peace